Hello and welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of Volcano Falls. Thanks for stopping in and checking it out. Today, I think we are going to uh, just do a little a park maintenance episode again. I feel like I feel like things get out of hand every time you you start doing big construction projects. The next thing you know, you know your staff's all messed up and your guests are unhappy and all that. So I'm gonna go through and just do a little park maintenance. We're gonna work on the uh, the, the uh, cave and get all the exhibit animals in there that we uh that we, I did I didn't get around to doing last time because the cave episode was running a little long. Um so that's I think the first thing we're going to do is uh go on into the cave, start picking up some exhibit animals. We need to get some uh some more exhibits in there anyway. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of foot traffic at the moment, so you I, I need something to draw the people up into there because right now it's mostly just vendors, so it's just thirsty people looking for a drink going in there because there's nothing else to go in there. Um, so yeah, that's where that's where we're at. Uh, go, we'll go through and check some of the animal exhibits, make sure we don't have too many baby animals, uh, make sure the populations are right. I know this, you know, isn't isn't the sexiest of stuff, really, but it's something you got to do. You know, you, you, we are playing the game. This is I'm just not, I'm not just like building exhibits. You know, um, don't get me wrong, building exhibits is the fun part of the game. Um, but you know, there's also the game to be played. You know, you have to you have to actually run your zoo. So, okay, we're we're in the we're in the cave. I think it's looking nice. If you didn't see the last episode, this is what we came up with. Uh, yeah, I think it's looking good. I'm enjoying it. But yeah, here we are. We got to get some get some exhibit animals here. Check out the exhibit trading. Like I said, I think I'm going to keep it to like creepy crawly type things. Bugs, snakes. Things that I feel like would be in a... Be in a cave... I feel like you, I, I don't know, I don't know much about these animals, but I feel like you could find some, some creepy cockroaches. Oh, speaking of cockroaches, we've got a gold guy right here, let's grab him. Uh, give him a girlfriend. Or do we want to, you know what, maybe we don't want, we got a lot of exhibits in here, so if I start putting breeding pairs in there, I'm going to end up with just tons and tons of animals. So let's let's maybe try to stick with uh, single uh, sex on on some of these animals. I think that might be that might be better because early in the game, when you're really hard up on cash, you know you want breeding pairs so you can make some make some easy cash because they especially like the bugs. Oh, there he is right there. Look at him. That's a big cockroach. That's a big cockroach. Never actually had cockroaches in any place I've ever lived. And I am fine with that. I don't know that I need any of those. My uh, my dad used to rent out rental properties. And uh, he had five or six of them that he, that he was renting out. And I went, I had to go over and help him move a refrigerator once. And... We pull off the front grate of the refrigerator just so we can get access to the bottom to pick it up. And my God, 10,000 cockroaches like flew out of this thing. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy cow. It was just, just gross. Oop, my, I, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I, I made it. I got home and I like, I changed, I, I threw my clothes in the garage and like, like ran into the house and like took a shower. It was, I was, I was just like, oh God, so disgusting. All right. So anyway, enough, enough of that. Sorry for that story for you. Um, let's move that to 80 ish. Yeah, that'll do. Check on that humidity, 60 to 80, so let's move that up to 73. All right. Make him comfortable. Where is it? I put two of them in there. I don't know where the other guy's at. Oh, he's in the back there. I see you, see you hiding out there. If we're going to do just guys, 
Uh, I, I kind of want to put like more than two in there. Let's see what do they do they care how many's in the Yeah, I gotta do some research on I gotta do some research on this one. Oh, is this not in a work zone? I bet it's not in a work zone. We went and added a bunch of stuff. Let's check that work zone. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm doing this episode. So easy to forget things when you're... When you're just... Try you know, I almost think I maybe need, like, a new work zone. How many exit one, two? Well... Hmm. Because there's, there's a staff area over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make a new work zone. Call it the cave work zone or something. Oh, work zone 2 for now. Okay, let's put all this crap in its own work zone up here. Come on, click on that. There we go. Yeah, because I don't want the I don't want the workers from from the the front area having to go all the way back here to do all this stuff. We'll have to move some of the vendors into just this work zone. God, there's a lot of stuff. I didn't realize we put this much stuff back here. Oh, we've got the generator thing. Get him in there. Oh, he's already in a different work. We'll have to take that out of the other work zone, I think. And we got... I, I dug in a little... It's ugly as hell. I don't really like it, but it, I'll work on that. Just a staff room and a generator thing kind of off the main area there. Oop. Got the ATM. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, we'll do that. Work zone 2. Let me change that name. We call it the cave. Oops. Got my cap locked. Okay. Cave zone. How about that? Okay, let's get some of the staff put into the cave zone. We don't need a keeper. Well, no, we do need keepers because these exhibit animals, I think, require keepers to take care of them. Um, no, we need to train some of these guys up here. Let's get these... Let's get some training happening. Yeah, it's so easy to just go into build... build mode, build, 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 and then the next thing you know, your staff sucks and... Your guests are unhappy because everybody's waiting to get get a drink. I'm just going to train everybody here. Now oh, we got a lot of one-star guys wandering around here. I wonder if it's because I put down so many vendors. I wonder if we, we need all of these. That is a lot of uh, vendors. Well, we'll need them eventually anyway. I'll keep an eye on this situation. It's a developing situation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, how about caretakers? Where where were we at? Because I, I see a lot, of gar uh, a lot of litter in here. These guys are all working pretty pretty good. Let's hire a couple new guys. They don't cost a whole lot. And assign them just to this zone, I think. Do him. Uh, can we, I always forget. Can you do it from here? Yeah, work zone. Cave. So he's a cave guy. We'll get him a friend here. We need. I think we need at least two of them. Where are you, uh, caretaker? Let's put him over here, because I saw some trash over here the other... when I was wandering through earlier. Well, I thought I did. I don't know, maybe somebody came through and got it while I wasn't looking. Okay, 
Let's get you a work zone. Put you in the cave as well. These vendors are already up here. Can we... Can we just grab... Yeah. Let's put him in the work zone. Work zone manager? What is it? Okay, Omar Cruz. Where are you, Omar? I guess we'll have to just go to the staff area, find Omar, and put him in there. We have vendor Omar, Omar, Omar. I can't find you. Omar, there you go. You're going into the cave. Into the cave with you, Omar. You know what you've done. What's this guy's name? Modesto Maddox. That sounds like a Bond villain right there. Or, no, not a Bond villain. It sounds like a, uh, like an 80s sit, like, A-team, like, arms dealer. That's what he sounds like. Like, B.A. Baracus would be chasing him down. Oh, there he is. Modesto Maddox. Yeah, he's definitely moving arms for the Libyans. Okay, we got that guy. Let's get all of these vendors in this zone. I know this is some boring, boring stuff for you. Kathy Goddard. Well, that just sounds like a regular name. That's not a Bond villain at all. Alright, let's see what... Jason Walden. Jason Walden. Another just normal guy. Cave zone for you. Jewel Cheney. Never been a fan of the name Jewel ever since uh, Jewel the Singer came out. And couldn't, never, never cared much for that. Uh, okay, Clara Burnett. Sounds like an old lady name. Clara. A lot of Claras in nursing homes. That's what I'm guessing. You just go to a nursing home and yell out Clara and, and five old ladies answer. Uh, Leanne Bumgardner, where are you? Madison Bumgardner's sister works at our zoo. Where? This is really time consuming. Ah, there we are. Okay, so the staff situation, at least we got the the vendors. We should put another we should put some more of these uh maybe some of the one star guys in here because we need backup staff. So when they go on break we have somebody. I don't know where these people are working at the moment. High workload will take some of the low workload people perhaps. Low workload. One star. Okay. Alright. Well, that gives us something. I'll have, to, I'll have to keep an eye on this vendor situation. Okay. We need a mechanic for this area. Yeah, we need a mechanic. Okay, you were in the cave. Into the cave with you. Oh yes, and a keeper. Maybe two of them. Oh. 
cave work zone. I have to remember to come back and train these guys up too. I don't know if we need a vet. I'm not 100% sure. If uh, the exhibit animals require vets, I can't remember. Okay, that's a lot of staff. So let's let's slow my roll on that one just a little bit. But we do have to. Oh, we have some exhibit animals I've never had before, so we have to go through and research some of their some of their. Ooh, what did I get? Oh, the otter. The otter research is complete. Thank God for that. Get you working on these cockroaches. Okay. Okay, so our cockroaches are. Are, are happy. That'll be, that's good news. Everybody wants happy cockroaches. What else we got going here? Oops, that's the ones I have. I don't have any. Let's go with some spiders. Let's stick with all females, I think. Okay. Brazilian wandering. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Let's put all these guys in. These ladies, I'm sorry. <clears throat> now, I have had these ones before, so I know I've got uh, these researched. Where's the layout? Layout, let's put all this stuff on, make them happy. Seventy three to eighty four. And 50 to 80, well, even wide range there. Go to 70, I guess. Okay, let's turn on the education. Okay. Ooh, did I put these things in, in that work zone? I can't remember if they need to be in the work zone. I thought I grabbed everything. Oh my god, it zoomed me out to planet planet Krypton here. What the hell? Okay, I guess these things don't need to be in a work zone. That's good. I didn't want to go through and do all those things. Alright, what's in the what do we want in this habitat? Uh ooh, these centipedes would be cool, but there's only one. Let's see if we can find some. What are these things? Eastern blue-tongued lizards. Does that seem like something that would be in a cave? Yeah, sure. Ooh, those guys are kind of expensive. That guy was a thousand bucks. Ooh, I'm gonna be broke by the end of this thing. I've never had these guys before either. Oh, that's a really plain exhibit. I've never had these before either, so we're gonna have a lot of researching to do at the end of this. What is there? 77, 95. That'll do 50 to 60. Ooh, very narrow range there. Split it exactly. How about that? 55. Oh, 54, 56, 55. Aha, I got there. Okay. We're doing it now. Let's go over here. One more. How about oh there's only one. Oh yeah, well I guess we can have a breeding couple, why not? We'll breed these uh land snails. I've had these before, so no research needed there. And I can change the layout, make it look better. Okay, oop, I didn't check the humidity thing. 
Always when you put it's never right, it seems. 73 to 97. 82, 40 to 60. 55 will work. Okay. Ooh, it's misting in there. It's raining. It's raining men. Hallelujah. Okay, is that it? No, I got another one here. Some oh there it is. I knew there was one more. Alright, what do we want in this one? Hmm. We've got spiders. We've got a lizard. We've got a cockroach. Maybe this thing. Hmm. We have frogs down down in the main area. Let's have more frogs. These things are always nice. I, I think these things look cool. Go with a uh, different frog since they're all the same sex. I, I guess we'll put four of them in there. Oh, I don't have any education board things around this one. What's going on there? Thought I, I thought I was very careful about that. That one says beetles now, or cockroaches, so let's get that one fixed. Poison frogs. Okay, ooh, there they are. Little bitty guys. Okay, check. I've had these before, so lay out. Check, check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Oh, check, check. Okay. And check the climate. 77, 88. 80 to 90. Okay. Ooh, we're starting to get some more people in here. That's good. You know what you know what I do need? I need to put down some uh, some donation buckets. Wall is eating that one. I nah. okay. We'll put it there. <laughs> Where do we want? Let's go. I kind of want to. Well, not in the way, but we'll go there. That'll be perfect. Yeah, we're doing it now. Gotta make our money back on these guys. And then a fortune here. Oops. What was I doing there? Put it in the damn bushes. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're doing it. Ooh, we're definitely getting some foot traffic here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I don't see any trash on the floor, so that's good. I'll go over here just a second. I think I just put a break room in there. I don't think I could put a keeper hut in here, so maybe I should try to put a put a keeper hut down. Uh, where's the keeper one? Oh, I'm on the keeper hut. Oh, oh, that's oh, I've got the okay. I had a melt, brain melt down there for a second. Ooh, what is going on here? Maybe the little guy. The big guy is stroking out the game. Hmm, why is that going crazy? Well, looks like maybe we can put him over here, so... Yeah, we'll just stick him over off to the side here for now. Give him some kind of a keeper hut. There we go. Because I think they need to prepare food for those... Those bugs. Okay, there we go. See if anybody's donating to these things. Ooh, 
two dollars and 36 cents we are flying flying up the world's wealthiest rankings on that one 12 bucks i mean they have only been in here for five seconds Ooh, 150 there and 60. i was getting 150. oh the spiders people like the spiders i guess hundred dollars over here for our lizard friends oh what's this we have a warning Lopple ghost turtles are having issues. What's going on with the turtles? Let's go check out our turtles. Or more accurately, tortoises, I guess. I just call them all tur tur uh, turtles. Oh, I definitely can see what the problem is. We've got like 10 adult turtles in this thing. That's not going to make them happy. Uh, get rid of all the young ones. Dispense of the younglings. Wow, we have a, way too many turtles here. This is ridiculous. That's an old one. Ooh, you're a young one. Sorry to... Oh, he, well, he did get to play with his ball for two seconds there. I feel bad about that. He was in the middle of playing, playing with his beach ball. Okay, there's an old one. How many do we have in here? Okay, we're back down to the right amount. I don't see any babies in here. Maybe we should take them off contraception. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let them, let them have a little, a little fun, if you know what I mean. Okay, got the turtle habitat back in check. Check on our otters here, quick, while we're. Oh, they're swimming. I don't see any baby otters. I would have thought they would have bred by now. Seriously? No babies? Hmm. I guess they're doing fine. Oh, we're... They must have, they must have had some... Maybe they're in the water, too. Hmm. Well, let's check on the gate over here. That should, we should be able to see what's in the exhibit from the gate. Oh, we do have some babies. Nice. I'll find where where you at. Oh, just hard to tell the babies from the adults, I guess. Okay, cool. Ooh, we got a silver star baby too. That's nice. Okay. One other thing I was I, I was noticing. A lot of people were hot. Let's move some of these. Yeah, see, big big red spot here. Maybe one more up here. I think in the cave they're probably fine, although maybe they want to go in there and be real cool, so let's put a cooler in. A few coolers down in here, too. Especially since we're getting so many people in here all of a sudden. Yeah, that should do there, I think. Go back outside. We've got a hot spot. A few hot spots. All right. There we got the cooler situation taken care of. Oh, did it just get dark? Okay, what else? What else? Let's, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's check. See if we got trash situations. Oh, uh, we got some garbage problems over here. There's a bin right there. What is the... Hmm. 
Maybe we don't maybe we don't have enough keepers. Or caretakers, I mean. We got a lot of caretakers. Efficient workload. Nobody seems to be overworked. Well, let's hire one more guy. Just to get this mess here cleaned up. I see a lot of llamas in here. Have, have they been breeding again? I think they have. Ooh, that one's a gold one. Nice. Ooh, that reminds me. Let's check. <clears throat> Let's check our animals. Make sure everybody's on contraception. I know most of these that we put in were uh, same-sex ones, but I just wanted to just, you know, just make sure. All right, that's all of our animals. Huh, look at all these llamas. Gracious. Well, let's get some of the, the ones that are young adults. It's old, old, old. Five. Okay, you, you can come with me. This one. Oh, we got way too many llamas in here. No, nope, I clicked on the wrong one. This one. And we got a couple, a couple more about to get old enough to get out of there. No, oh, why, why? I didn't click on you. Or you. Or you. Hmm. Well, they don't seem to be overcrowded, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, they seem happy. Plenty of room. Uh, this thing's like five times bigger than it needs to be, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let them breed. Okay, let's check. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's check the security guard situation. Oops, we got some broken stuff over here. Oh, you, you bastards. Vandalism. Vandalism, I say. Replace, replace. And it costs us 200 bucks. All right. So here we go. All right. Yeah, I think it's looking good. We're doing it. We got the cave up and running. A lot of foot traffic going in and out of there. I like seeing that. Yeah, people are donating nicely. Good, because our money, our money's going down. Or at least it was. Let's try to get that back up and moving forward. I think dragging more people up. Yeah, yeah, they're already starting to queue up at the at the souvenir places, so that's good. Nobody wants donuts, apparently, though. All right, so there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's that. I'll call it for for today. Uh, a little sneak. Preview. I think next episode I am going to go over into this area over here and start a, n a new habitat and start getting some some people coming out this direction. It's been a long time in the in the way in the making, but I think that's the plan. Get this area up and running. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Let's do a little walkthrough before we before we leave. Yeah. There we go. Check out our zoo from the ground level. Walk through the flower beds like a jerk. Alright, thanks a lot everybody. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you watched, feel free to subscribe. Leave a like, comment, whatever. It's all appreciated. Adios, amigos.
de